टुडे वी विल कवर हीट जोन्स ऑफ द अर्थ हेलो वेलकम टू टॉप ड्रेन जी के इट इज कॉमन नोन फैक्ट दैट ऑल लैटिट्यूड लाइन्स हेल्प डिवाइड द अर्थ इन टू डिफरेंट क्लाइमेट जोन्स बेस्ड ऑन द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिसीव फ्रॉम द सन डिफरेंट रीजन्स ऑफ दिस पैरल सच एज द इक्वेटर द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन द आर्टिक सर्कल and the antarctic circle receive sun rays at various angles on the basis of the distribution of temperature earth is divided into three heat zones first torrid second temperate and third frigid now start with this zone and that is torrid zone the torrid zone is also known as the tropics The torrid zone is the closest to the equator and it is the hottest in all three zones. The region from the equator to the tropic of Cancer in the northern hemisphere and from the equator to the tropic of Capricorn in the southern hemisphere are torrid zone. Or we can say in other words that the region between tropic of Cancer and tropic of capricorn is said to be a torrid zone this zone receive the maximum amount of heat throughout the year because the rays of the sun fall vertically on this zone in areas lying between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn when The sun is at the tropic of Cancer it is known as June solstice and when the sun is at the tropic of Capricorn it is known as December solstice all the regions within these latitudes have the sun right overhead at some point of time in the year now come to the temperate zone The temperate zone is split into two zones on either sides of the torrid zone and it has temperatures ranging from warm to cool. Temperate zone is the part of the earth surface between the arctic circle and the tropic of Cancer in northern hemisphere. And between the antarctic circle and the tropic of capricorn in the southern hemisphere average yearly temperature in these regions are not extreme not burning hot and not freezing cold temperate means moderate the rays of the sun reaches the ground slantingly the sun is never directly overhead and the climate is mild generally ranging from warm to cool The four annual season spring summer autumn and winter occur in these areas Now come to the frigid zone The frigid zone is also split into two one between the arctic circle and the north pole and one between the antarctic circle and the south pole The frigid zones are the coldest regions of earth and are generally covered in ice and snow. Summer season in this regions lasts for about 2 to 3 months and there is almost 24 hours sunlight during summer. South frigid zone includes only Antarctica. Sun's rays falls at a very small angle, nearly flat throughout the year. The sun's rays are always slanting so there are less heat on surface area. it receive slanting rays of the sun as this regions lies farthest from the equator i hope you understood the concept of these three zones in case if you have any question about it you can ask me freely in my comment box thank you for watching and see you in my next video